Today, I will review for you the four legendary weapons of the boss Zulmor, and how they fare when combined with a shinobi. Please follow my channel and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone, I'm NDL. Firstly, let's understand the exclusive fate bound of boss Zulmor, named the Spirit of the World Bane. It will create a bullet rain after you attack 10 times, dealing dark damage. Now, let's delve into the types of weapons. First, let's talk about the World Splitter. Its basic attack swings normal slashes with dark damage. When fully charged, it creates a black smoke village of darkness, but in my opinion, the damage is quite low. Next is Duality of Sin. Its basic attack swings fairly fast, hitting multiple targets, and also inflicts dark damage. When fully charged, it buffs attack speed, allowing for 3 strikes. After 3 strikes, it creates an underground whirlpool. When combined with its exclusive fate bound, it speeds up to 10 times faster. Then we have Inexorable End. Its normal attack shoots black bullets with dark damage. At level 1 charge, it summons dark minions, and when fully charged, it only deals a single dark burst. Lastly, Gnawing Despair. Its normal attack slashes quite fast, accompanied by dark damage. When fully charged, it creates four dark orb balls rotating around the character, gradually expanding and exploding, causing dark damage. Now, let's try them with Shinobi Apprentices. First, I'll use the World Splitter. I find monster clearing quite poor, creating dark clouds that mostly gather in one place because the apprentices converge to one spot when summoned. Fighting bosses is also quite ineffective, not dealing much damage, even though this is a boss on a weaker map, not on the Zandu map. If faced with an elite boss on the Zandu map, it probably won't reduce the boss's health much. Now, let's try Duality of Sin. It clears monsters quite well and also utilizes its exclusive Fate Bound, even though I only carry one weapon, meaning only one piece of Fate Bound. Boss fighting is stable. Elite bosses on the Zandu map are quite challenging, but can still be defeated with this weapon. Next, I'll try Inexorable End. It clears monsters extremely well, dealing dark damage to the front and summoning many apprentices from yours, creating a very powerful force to clear monsters. Of course, fighting elite bosses is also good because this boss inherently has the highest resistance on the Zandu map so fighting it will take quite a bit of time but can still be defeated. Lastly, I'll try Gnawing Despair. With the ability to create flying orbs around itself, all minions are created in this circle, and of course, clearing small monsters is extremely fast. Fighting bosses with the highest defensive ability can still be defeated quite quickly with just a non-upgraded tier M weapon. I assess this as the strongest weapon among the four weapons above when used with a shinobi. Okay. After reading about the four orange weapons of Boss Zilmore and combining them with a shinobi, which weapon do you like the most? Which orange weapon of the boss would you like to see next? Please leave a comment below. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.